Tasha. <laughs> it's your boy, Icon, with another review for you going over that Sterling Archer episode seven, Mission Out of Control Room. And this was probably like one of the best episodes I've ever seen from this show. And I like the dynamic of having every single person involved and everybody being in pairs. But before we get started, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, hit the like button, the notification bell, so you'll get notified and all that goodness. Check me out on social media. Blah, blah, blah. So now going over some Archa episode seven. So apparently there's a control room now. I don't know where they got the money for this, but Lana got a control room. She paid for a control room and she has minions that work in the control room. Cheryl is, I guess, her like assistant or whatever. So she's doing this whole mission where, cause Lana's like, and I said this in the last review that Lana's basically like trying to clean up the agency and she's trying to like turning into a respectable business. But she understands that, you know, they're tired. Like their agency has a bad rap of being like the idiots and the goofs that fuck everything up. So she's trying to change the narrative in that aspect. What she's doing is there's there's three mainframes scattered in three different places all over the world that apparently it's the cause of like all the underground like crimes and like transactions that go through. So she, so Lana's whole thing is she wants to destroy the mainframes download the information and upload it to Interpol so Interpol can take over and shut them down for good. So she has the teams going to three different places so they could take down these mainframes because they have to be taken down all at one time. And she has this whole control room that she paid for <laughs> that, you know, in order to make this happen where she's on comms. I like Lana being like in charge, charge is very dope. But the team, as you can tell, was not with it. So first of all, Pam and um, Pam, Pam and Ray, Pam and Ray were a team. And Ray was upset because Pam was appointed team leader. Ray was like how he should be team leader because he has the seniority. But they were like, well, Pam can kick ass like better than Ray, apparently. Like, I guess that's a thing. And then they said that the mainframe that they were in, it's a Japanese, it's in like Japan. It's a Japanese mainframe and Pam speaks Japanese. Pam speaking Japanese did not come up at all <laughs> during their entire mission. And Ray continuously pointed that out because when they found the mainframe, he was like, look, it says mainframe on the door and it's not written in Japanese. And then he was like, why are other people people who were in other parts because he said that Zara and Krieger they were in a Spanish speaking country and them speaking Spanish wasn't required to do that and then here comes Zara she's like oh but I speak English she's like I speak fluent Spanish <laughs> you know like unlike you and you know and then she was just like I don't appreciate being on this mission and with all these bats because the mainframe that her and Krieger were looking for it was in a specific cave that was housed by bats the funny aspect of it was Zara and Krieger oddly got along like they named their team team stiletto and then it had to do with like a gun or a weapon and then they really bonded in this episode and even to the point where lana had to say she was like you know i don't know how i feel about this particular friendship but whatever so lana was using a supersonic device from the from the control room <laughs> that she has she was using a specific device to keep the bats asleep so this way zara and krieger can take down their mainframe and then here comes art Archer. Archer was pissed off because one, he said, because Lana was checking in with each individual team. First, she checked in with Pam, then she checked in with Zara, and then she checked in with Archer. Archer was like, first of all, he said, you checking in with, he said, you checking in with me last is complete disrespect. He's like, number two, he said that, why do I have to go to New Jersey? Which is like, he said the afterbirth of New York City. And then he's like, three, y'all stuck me with Cyril. And he was just like, I feel like I'm being punished. And then Lana said that this whole, this whole mainframe thing is Archer's fault. So she's like, it is a punishment so just shut up and do the mainframe because the mainframe that they were trying to take down was in some random house in some random neighborhood in new jersey and lana's whole thing is lana was just like she it's very important to lana that she runs a respectable agency she wants her agency to be to not be a laughing stock she wants the agency to prosper and have a good name like and i gotta give like she's really trying she's legitimately trying to like put some respect on the agencies and i'm like does their agency even have a name <laughs> like i never even hear them like name the agency but uh, wasn't it isis at what and then they, they couldn't call it isis so yeah it was called it's now it's just called the agency so anyway now cheryl's being a pain in the ass because she's basically just kissing lana's ass and calling her a dictator and everything but now they're at the point where they're trying to do the mainframe stuff but then cyril starts freaking out because the control room said that out of the six people who were on the mission one of them like their adrenaline was spiking and they were like going into cardiac arrest and then we found out that it was cyril because there was a the mainframe the house that archer and them went into that Archer and Cyril went into there was a boy who was down who's there on the computer and the boy caught them 
the boy looked exactly like Cyril's son. I thought we were going to find out that that blonde chick that Cyril had sex with, who it was like Seamus, like Seamus's kid. I thought we were going to find out this was Seamus because <laughs> that boy looked exactly like Cyril. So then while Lana was trying to deal with that because she was just like, listen, she was like, the plan's not over yet. She said that just talk to the boy. And Pam and Ray, they were under attack because the goons came in and they were trying to kill, they were trying to kill them. And then here goes Ray. He's just like, yeah, beating up these goons had nothing to do with Japanese. And then there was a moment where the control room shut down and when all power to the control room shut down, the supersonic device that was keeping the bats at base shut off, and now Zara and Krieger, they're being attacked by bats and they're going insane. So now the whole mission's going to shit. Lana's about to cry because she was just like, I just wanted to run a respectable agency. And then she got to a point where she was, you know, she was she was trying to like reel everybody in and she was like, what can you do? So Pam and Ray, they just kept beating up all the people and they were bickering back and forth during the fight. Zara and Krieger, they were just freaking out for no reason. And then Archer, him and him and Cyril, like they talked to the kid. They basically told him, they was like, like, look, show us where the mainframe is or we're going to kick your ass. The boy ends up bringing them downstairs. Archer was admiring photos of his mother because the photos of his mother was all over the house. The kid was like, yo, don't try to bang my mom. <laughs> and then, of course, while they were downstairs with the mainframe, the mom shows up and then Archer basically puts the charm on and Archer tries to bang her. And then Lana was just like, at this point, fuck it. Because she said, as long as like we're still on mission, like, fine. She's like, we'll just let it slide. And then that's when Lana came to the realization because she was just like, you know, I'm trying to do things by the book. I'm trying to do things the right way but she was just like I don't think that's gonna happen she's like it's always gonna be this way she said like the group of people that I work with the team that I have the way we're set up we're always gonna be in chaos like we're always gonna have these problems like she said nothing's ever gonna go smooth and then she just got to the point where she was like fuck it she said if that's the case and if nothing's ever gonna go according to plan she said everybody do what you have to do to get this mainframe shit up and running as quickly as possible. So then Krieger was like, wow, I didn't know that was an option. And then Krieger just started killing all the bats. Zara ended up catching an orgasm off Krieger killing the bats. Ray and Pam, they just beat up all the guys and stuffed them in the closet. And then Archer, he basically banged homeboy's mom. <laughs> so, while, so while Archer was upstairs banging the mom and everything, Pam and Ray, they ended up putting their flash drive into their mainframe. After Krieger killed all the bats, both him and Zara put their thumb drive in. And then because Archer Arch was upstairs banging the kid's mom. Cyril put his flash drive into his machine and they shut down the mainframe and they had another successful mission. Because there was a comment early where Archer was just like, oh, all of our missions go to shit. But I'm like, for the last six episodes, y'all have actually been completing the missions always sometimes. Not quite really. So, you know, but then, you know, so, so they shut it down. Lana was happy. She was like, finally, you know, she was just like a successful mission. She said, let's upload the information and send it, you know, to Interpol. And then that's when Cheryl was just like, not yet. You know, she said, she said, we can have a flunk do that in the morning plus she chased away all the flunkies that was working for them because she bought all of them bad sandwiches and they got sick and everybody left the mainframe that's actually when the power went out and everything went to shit and then cheryl told her she was like listen she's like you know this is your moment to celebrate your victory and she said we'll worry about the minor details tomorrow and then lana was like yeah you're right fuck it and then she left to go celebrate her and cheryl left the mainframe fell apart and then when the mainframe fell apart that's when pam and ray were just like yo there are more goons coming we need an extraction and then zara was just like yo we're actually under attack attack as well she's like we could use an extraction and then Cyril was just sitting on the couch with the boy while Arch was upstairs begging his mom Lana left so they couldn't get an extraction so the team was basically on their own they were totally fucked <laughs> like in classic Archer style that's how the episode ended and thank you for tuning in and it sucks that the, we get one episode left of Archer and it sucks that this is actually the end of Archer because despite me not trusting Zara, I like her as a character and I like her on the team. I still feel she's going to portray them in the season fina in the series finales <laughs> somehow. But I like the dynamic. Like this was one of the more perfect episodes because it didn't just focus on one or two specific people. Every single cast member was involved in this episode. Like everybody got a moment. Everybody got a chance to shine. It was a dynamic of the show that we actually have been missing this season with all six of them together. So like I said, I'm going to be sad when it goes but share your questions comments and or concerns down below and we'll continue to talk about it as i said before check me out on social media because i got other videos on my channel check out my previous archer reviews because we've been reviewing every single episode of archer next week well i got i'm about to have loki on the channel dear god <laughs> we're reviewing loki season two loki's gonna well, by the time you watch this loki will probably be on my channel because you know i shoot these reviews back to back and then on wednesday right before i go no thursday actually the day of comic-con because i'm going to comic-con thursday friday saturday and sunday so check out my video for that i'm a 
to post a Comic Con video for that. And Doom Patrol is coming back. Thank the Jesus <laughs> that we're getting Doom Patrol. The final seven episodes of Doom Patrol, and we're going to review that too. So that was it, guys. So thanks for tuning in, and thank you for taking this Archer ride with me. We got one more episode left. We're still Archer. So until next time, as always, it's nice to know Archer doesn't have a problem getting up based on that. <laughs> until next week for the finale, we're